Dear friends, welcome to the month of the ancestors. This is a truly special period, a time when ancient memories resurface and we feel a strong call to our roots. It's also a time that reminds us how important it is to stay united in our communities, supporting each other. Let's talk a bit about love, because this month might shake things up a bit. You might find yourself facing unexpected doubts or see old issues emerge that you thought were buried. Don't be scared. It's an opportunity to face your love wounds, not to feel sorry for yourself, but to transform them. And yes, memories of karmic loves will probably resurface. Take some time to reflect silently on these emotions. On the work front, be careful. You might feel the pressure to prove something to your family through your professional choices. This influence could be subtle, almost imperceptible, but it could cause you restlessness, maybe disturb your sleep. My advice? A good linden tea before bed could help you relax. Regarding health, watch out for chronic diseases. In particular, disorders related to the gastrointestinal system or the cardiopulmonary system might worsen. Take extra care of yourselves during this period. For magic enthusiasts, this is the ideal month to work with tree energies. It's not simple work, so if you're experienced, dig deep. If you're a beginner, follow the instructions of the Witch Mage's Grimoire to the letter. Now, mark some important dates. On October 2nd, we have the new moon in Libra, an annular solar eclipse, and a Mercury-Lilith conjunction in Libra. It's a powerful day for oracles and for observing messages in water by moonlight. October 10th is perfect for divinations, natal charts, and for understanding your life mission. On October 17th, with the full moon in Aries, focus on cleansing bonds and free expression. On October 18th, Venus enters Sagittarius, bringing a strong desire for freedom. A horsetail tea might help you manage this energy. October 25th is ideal for activating your magical expression and free love. Finally, on October 31st, Samhoin is a magical portal to connect with the ancestral tree. It's the perfect day to ask for blessing for your mission. You can go in front of a tree, imagine it as representing your ancestors, and ask for their blessing. Remember, this month is a journey through the depths of your ancestral heritage. Welcome the challenges and revelations with openness and courage. May this period bring you wisdom, healing, and a deeper connection with yourself and your ancestors. My name is Alessandra Barbieri. I am an expert in ritual astrology, rituals, symbolism, and I am the president of the Symbolk School.